Greetings and welcome, my name is Aaron Craig with Beyond Us Games, and in this patch notes update we're going to be looking at version 2.1.4.285. This was released on Wednesday, April 4th, and for the most part it is localization, which means that now you can run GameMaker Studio in other languages. And they have French, German, and Spanish available, so you can install it in that language and go through the entire process. And you can also change the language by going to uh, preferences and general settings and just changing the language through there. Uh, for me personally, installing this new update has also made GameMaker Studio launch a lot faster on my desktop. I never had an issue on my laptop, but my desktop would take about a minute and a half to actually load GameMaker Studio. After this update, it no longer does that. I don't know if that was a personal system or what, but this update definitely fixed that. They also say there's some login performance and stability fixes. Each time I have installed this uh, new update, I've actually had to re-log in. So it's kind of ironic that it's more stable, but you need to log back in. But it should be better now for the future. Uh, if you're using a Mac IDE, there's a few new settings down here for your build settings. And that's it for the most part. Um, I've got GameMaker Studio here running in French, and you can see the manual is entirely in the new language. And even if you go into a room, all of the options, everything you see there is in French. But the code that you write is still in whatever language you wrote it, which I believe must be English. Uh, you can see here that everything I wrote uh, is still in English. The functions themselves haven't changed. As far as I know, they are not changing. The names are exactly the way that they are. They're just explained in that new language, which is really awesome. It allows a lot more people to use it in their native language and to be able to read the manual, which is something that I am always encouraging. So I think this is fantastic. I'm glad that they finally got that out there and that things are moving along. They are, they are growing their audience through this localization option, which is awesome. But that's about it. It's a fairly small update in terms of how it's going to impact uh, uh, most users, but if you've been looking for your personal language uh, in GameMaker Studio, then you have that now. So you go to your file, which is, I'm not going to try to pronounce that, Preferences, and inside of the very first one right here, this language ID is how you change it back. I'm going to click English and change it back. That way I can actually read things again. So, okay, that's what I've got for you. Hopefully that's helpful. Uh, yeah, enjoy the new update, and I'll talk to you later.